I actually kind of understand what um, uh, what Representative uh, Ocasio Cortez is saying. She she's saying you're just doing this to uh, to to sort of out that it's not going anywhere. But I don't know why you'd propose it if if you didn't want that to happen. You weren't serious in the first place, I guess. But it can't go anywhere. So why do it? Just just to out people as to whether they vote yes on this. Well, I think it's important to have a vote today on the, the so-called Green New Deal. It, it's unworkable, it's unaffordable, it's becoming more and more unpopular the more that people uh, learn about it. But so many of the Democrats running for president have endorsed it and have co-sponsored it that I think it's important to put them on the record. Now it looks like they're trying uh, to duck it, to dodge it, to distance themselves from something that's going to cost $93 trillion, uh, $650 thousand uh, dollars for every family in America, 65,000 a year. In energy costs are going to go up about $3,800 per family per year. And Joe, even the AFL-CIO is against it because of the impact it would have on our strong, healthy and growing economy and just how bad it would be for jobs. But you see, you realize, though, that you just said it. You're going to out the people that, that voted for it and, and really sort of shame them and, or, or at least make them look bad or silly or, or whatever, right? I mean, it's not going to pass. It's not real legislation. It's, it's you know, you're going to spend a day doing this and it's totally meaningless, right? Well, I think it's very meaningful when people are running for president and say this is part of their agenda. These are the things that they're co-sponsoring with the 2020 election coming up and they're putting their name out there for as a presidential candidate as part of this sharp left turn that so many Democrats are taking, I think it's important for the American people to see just where they are, where they stand on things. The Democrats have proposed it. Uh, the, the vote today is to actually get on it, to debate it, to talk about what we need to do about a world with a changing uh, environment, how we need to deal with that in a responsible way. And Republicans have responsible solutions uh, to deal with climate change that is occurring. But to propose something as they have done, which is so expensive, so unworkable, immediate, unilateral reduction in the United States. And Joe, the United States is only accounting for 13 percent of the emissions worldwide. China and India alone are at 34 percent. You know, they say we need to get all renewables. Well, wind and solar right now in the United States, it's only 8 percent of our energy mix. Do we need more? Yes, but are we going to be able to fill that gap that exists between the reliable energy that we need every day and the renewable energy? Not with this Green New Deal. You know, it, but we're talking about it, aren't we? And, and you're, you're moving the, the center of the discussion, uh, which most people think Republicans are way too far in the denier. You know, you're going to be, you might get, even get excommunicated, but you're in the denier camp. And I've seen a Klobuchar, for example, Senator Klobuchar, when, when they ask her why she supported it, she goes, because it's aspirational. And, uh, and we need to have that discussion. That's, their, that's, that's the way they, they phrase it. And, and who's going to fault them for saying it's aspirational to try to prevent all of humanity from dying in 12 years? I mean, would you deny that that's something we want to try to prevent? Senator, so they can always fall back on it. And here we are talking about it. So by giving them a vote, even to this extent, it lends enough credence to the whole notion that, that there is a problem and something needs to be done. We're talking about how extreme the liberal Democrats who are running for president have become in the direction that they're trying to take the, the country's really careening off of a liberal cliff. They're so far outside of the American mainstream that it is scary that they would promote this sort of a thing, which is unworkable, unpopular, unaffordable, would hurt our strong, healthy, growing economy, and would basically shift the lifeblood of our economy from the United States and send it over to China. It is the wrong di direction. So uh, to me, th these are climate alarmists. They want right. to do things that's immediate, uh, that would be very detrimental to the United States, doing it unilaterally. Uh, in a sense that we would be the only I mean, ones doing it. There are solutions in terms right. of new technology. I see why they're mad. I see why they're mad because I can't wait for it. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I was, you know, doing a little devil's advocate, but I, I you know, I slow down on, on the highway too, and I can't wait to see this today. This is just so beyond the pale uh, uh, that, and and you really, you know, what's funny is watching uh, Steny or some of the other leaders of the Democratic Party. They they keep saying the same thing that. 
we had all these new got people come in here and you keep talking about these three. Stop. We, I mean, they're, they're sensitive to talking about those three uh, uh, new Congress people that get all the press and all the attention. And this is, the, uh, I think, the most famous one. How many followers does he have on Instagram now, AOC? She's millions. Millions. Fun. And this is her deal. And you're just going to just make it totally embarrassing for, for them, Senator, which, as I said, I don't know whether you should do it, but I'm definitely going to be, I don't know, I probably shouldn't say enjoying it. But uh, have fun today with this. because so I'm I don't the chairman of the committee that is actually coming up with responsible ideas in a bipartisan way, working together you know, advanced nuclear uh, reactors, things that are going to be safer, smaller, more efficient, uh, things that we can deploy around the world that would have an actual impact that are scalable. The other is the carbon capture and using oh that God. carbon. Okay, yeah, that, it, it, for, uh, okay. There are uh, things that will work. Right, don't capture too much carbon. I, it, the, it, it's the 93 trillion that I like because uh, Mohammed mm -hmm. says that's fine because of the new monetary theory not we got we can do 93 trillion joe Three, joe joe you didn't say is that I not didn't. what you okay don't do it then that's too much we do not have 93 trillion to blow on this i don't think do we the country can't afford it <laughs> it's not it's not look this this is a big green bomb it's gonna and um i can expect the democrats to try to duck the vote on this today yeah I, I they think may not important. show they, they may not you, show present you never know. are you allowed to say present i don't know thank you uh Thanks, Senator. Thanks for having me.